Hi, let's solve for x. Um, so we have that 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 brackets. Now, this 16 is written as 2 to the power of 4, right? So 2 to the power of 4 raised to the power of 12. Okay, plus this is 2, and this is written as what? 2 to the power of 3, that is 8. It's written as 2 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 16. All right. Now, I want us to recall the law of exponents that states that a raised to the power of m multiplied by n, sorry, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n. Okay? So, we are going to apply that here. So, this means that 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2 multiplied by what? 2 to the power of 4 times 12 will give us 48, right? Then, similarly, we have 2 brackets. 2 to the power of 3 times 16 is still 48. Perfect. So, we now have 2 to the power of x is equal to. Now, another law of exponent is here. That says that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. Okay, is equal to once you have the same base, just pick one base, then you add the powers, right? Okay, so we are going to apply that here. And if we do that, if we do that, then we are going to have this 2 to the power of 1, right? Multiplied by 2 to the power of 48 plus 2 to the power of 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of 48. So we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2. We are going to pick one 2. We are going to add the powers. So we have 49. Plus the same thing will happen here. We pick one 2 and we have 49. Okay. Now, when you look at this, we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 49 plus 2 to the power of 49. is same thing as what? 2 multiplied by what? 2 to the power of 49, right? Yes. Because what do they have in common? They have 2 to the power of 49. Okay, let me do it that way to avoid confusion. Okay? Now, when you look at this, what do they have in common? 2 to the power of 49. So, we write 2 to the power of 49. Open your brackets. When this is divided by this, you have 1. Plus, when this is divided by this, you have another one. All right? So, now we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 49 multiplied by 2. Now, this is same thing as 2 to the power of 1. Okay? So, we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 50. Yes, recall our words, our law of indices. We have the same base here. So, we are going to pick one base. Then, we will add the power. Okay? So, you have 2 to the power of x is 2 to the power of 50. Now, once you have the same base, okay, just equate the powers. Therefore, this simply means that our x is equal to 50. Please don't forget to subscribe and to on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across this channel.